Japan's beloved Mount Fuji. The highest point on the island of Japan at 3,776 meters. About two and a half hours from Tokyo, Fuji is one of the most famous and climbed mountains in the world, with around 300,000 climbers scaling its slopes each year. It was made a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2013 and often makes the top spot as the most beautiful mountain in the world. Fujisan, as it's called by the Japanese, is an active volcano which has erupted many times during its long history. The last eruption was in 1707 and spewed volcanic ash and rock as far as Tokyo which is more than 100 kilometers away. After 300 years of dormancy, no one knows when it will erupt again, but we can be sure it will. The volcano lies in a national park and is spread across two prefectures, Yamanashi and Shizuoka. But the actual top of the mountain is private land and belongs to a Shinto shrine. Fuji is one of three holy mountains in Japan and women weren't allowed to go to the summit until 1872. However, records show that a woman had climbed it 40 years earlier. The mountain's beauty has inspired poets, writers and artists throughout its history as seen in these masterpieces of woodblock printing by the famous artists Hiroshige and Hokusai. If you want to climb Mount Fuji and see that gorgeous sunrise, the best time of the year is in July and August. As for the rest of the year, it's mostly closed due to heavy snow. Mount Fuji can be divided into 10 stations 10 being the summit. Don't expect to find a cable car or a ropeway as there are none. Thankfully, you don't have to start from the bottom unless you really want to. The vast majority of people start from one of the fifth stations up because they're accessible by car and bus, as well as having shops and restaurants. There are four climbing routes to the top. Depending on which one you choose, it will take you an average of five to seven hours to go up and three to four to come down. You can't use tents on the mountain, but there are some very basic mountain huts you can reserve, as well as food and drink on sale if your supplies run out. A lot of people start climbing at night in order to reach the summit in time to watch the sunrise. That's what I did. Apart from the amazing view at the top, you'll see a crater 780 meters wide and 240 meters deep, which you can walk around if you still have enough energy. However, if you want to enjoy Mount Fuji without having to climb it, there are some spectacular views to be had from several nearby lakes. And lastly, if you're looking for a memorable place to get married, you could try the shrine at the top of the mountain, or a less challenging wedding at one of the nearby lakes. Either would be an unforgettable experience. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more.